In this video, I'd like to show you how to customize your column strip width. What I'm looking at here is an elevated slab in Mesa Floor ES. We can go to our first floor plan and just look directly on the floor plan. And I have an analysis already ran, so the and program is internally uh, applying all the forces to a plate mesh, and we can take a look at those forces. So looking at the MZ direction, we see that this is the moment in the Z direction. Uh, we see those two ways the slab behavior for MZ and MX, so the two directions. And what we're trying to do when we capture our reinforcement with our support lines is we're trying to find the forces within these central two-way lines. So if we look at maybe our, let's take a look at our MX direction, and we overlay on top of that our column strips uh, so we can see what happens here. So going first we can look at the, the support lines, so those run over the support points and then we can click on our design strips which are generated based on the width of those so that their neighboring support line and then I'm going to go all the way ahead to go to the column strips. So internally the program is calculating this column strip width based on the ACI calculations. And what we can do is we can see the detail report, if we click on that detail report we can look at support line 8 and if we go to the column strip and we jump to the cut for that column strip that is right now 90 inches so that's all internally calculated for you but there are times here where that is a just kind of missing the mark here so we have a little bit of forces and if you look at your contour map here you can see we're just seeing some forces directly outside of that column strip that maybe we wanted to capture so what we can do is we can modify that so a couple different ways you can modify it. You can go directly into the spreadsheet and change it. So uh, we're looking at SL8. It's a 7.5 foot width. We can change it just directly by clicking on manual location here and it will break our solution, no problem. And We can say instead of it being a 7.5, we could tell the program we want 9 feet, for example. And what we look at here is going to be, we would now see an increase of 9 feet. We can also do this in using the graphical toolbar. So if we go to our draw support lines tools, we see under modify properties, there's going to be a manual option using the checkbox to say use that. We can change it to let's try nine feet for here. So we can click on another support line and we'll see that it will change it to nine feet. You can then run the analysis and review just that portion. Now there are times, what you'll notice is that it did the entire support line. So support line is defined from uh, with spans, so S1 and S2, S1 and S2 were both def uh, upgraded for us there. So maybe there's times where we want to do just a portion, and what I would recommend for that is maybe to delete the support line and create separate support lines for that so you get to piecemeal it together. Um, that makes it so you can kind of customize each single one, which may gives you a little bit more freedom there. So for example, if I delete that, and let's go ahead and just view this here, I can draw in a support line on top and I can draw them in as pieces so it really doesn't affect you in any way to do that support line here which are east and west in both directions here. Um, you can draw it in as one or you can continue to just stop, right click and let go and then continue and draw one more time. So there will really be no difference between that and drawing it continuous. So you have the option to do it this way that gives you the opportunity to control each single one. So when I generate the strips, I can go ahead and say, okay, let's go into this support line and let's change that column strip instead of it being what it currently is. Let's make it something kind of large so we can see that. Maybe we want it to be 10 feet. We actually want to capture maybe what's in that column strip there, our cap, and we've got it now all the way around that. So we have the ability to sort of adjust that. Now what you'll notice is when I tried to make this one 10 feet, it bumped it to the edge as far as it possibly can, and this one's running into that corner, so it's stopping it there. So you have some smarts inside the program allowing you to, to uh, net excuse me, uh, hit the next one nearby, but you uh, it will stop you and push where it needs to. So you have ability to adjust an entire support line or to break it into pieces and then customize it further from there.